Welcome to the Boiling Point. I've got a familiar face. I haven't seen him in a while. Brian Grindstaff, head of the parts department, but also BoilerWarehouse.com. First of all, how's BoilerWarehouse.com going? It's doing well. Um, you know, it's it's been launched now for a couple years, and uh, you know, it's it's growing. We're adding new products every day. Um, new product lines. Vendors are coming to us and say, Hey, you know, let's let's. Uh, well, you sell my product and we're right. putting new stuff up every day and it's Good. really, really taken off. It takes a lot of work to put uh, 40,000 parts uh, and getting the pictures and everything up there. So I know yeah. you've done a, a, a ton of work and we certainly appreciate it, Brian. Well, we'd like to talk today um, a little bit about flow and isolation um, as far as valves. Okay, so flow control valves, isolation valves. Why don't you just go and, and, and tell, us, tell us some of your um, yeah. information. Yeah, so we've got uh, a couple different types of valves here. Uh, uh, you've got your ball valves here, you've got some gate valves here, some globe valves here, and some check valves. And really, all these valves uh, have their application and, and their purpose for controlling or isolating or, uh, you know, really creating backflow on, mm -hmm. uh, on a process. Okay. And, and they're used in many different things you know we live in a steam world where you got water fuel um, gas those kind of things but these types of valves are used in all sorts of industries okay. you know? so uh, different kind of medias can be flo flown through them um, really you know widespread you, you find them everywhere right. same, same products you find them everywhere right 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 so where would you use ball valves Ball valves um, are typically a, a isolation type valve. Um, they can be used in control valve applications with actuators. Um, the two that we've got pictured here, um, I've got two different materials. I've got, I've got a brass uh, ball valve and a carbon steel ball valve. Mm. And um, these are isolation valves. They're quarter turn isolation valves. You see, okay. you know, you see some of these valves in blow down lines for us, um, natural gas, water uh, in the steam side, um, and these are actually steam rated ball valves. Okay. So we really use them everywhere for a quick isolation. Why? Why the carbon and brass? What's the the difference? Why well, you can see the material here between the two. I mean, mm -hmm. one's a lot thicker than the other. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, the material construction, the pressure rating, um, those types of things tell you which which valve you're going to use where. Okay. Uh, this steam valve, believe it or not, is only just marginally rated higher than this valve right here. Mm. But uh, typically, I mean, you can see these things rated up to a thousand pounds, where okay. this is only rated for 200 pound steam. Okay. So uh, they also have a steam rating or a water, oil, gas rating, mm -hmm. two different things. It's based on the pressure and the temperature of what the valve's rated for. Okay. Uh, that's the same thing with all of these valves. The, the material of construction is rated for a certain temperature and pressure, and they're stamped for those applications. All right, let's move to the uh, gate. Yeah, a gate valve is another type of isolation valve. Um, it's a slow turn. This is, the ball valves are a quick turn, quarter turn, open and close. These, you really gotta crank open and closed. Um, they have a design where the seat actually goes straight up and down through the valve, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it seals against other metals, uh, creating or uh, preventing the flow to go through the valve. So this is really just another type of isolation valve. But it's f just <laughs> just maybe if we can compare the gate valve, sure. why why would you use a gate over the ball? Well, the ball is is a quicker opening valve. Okay. Um, so you can use this in blow down type situations. Um, the the gate valves are a slow open uh, slow open valve, which um, you know it. You can use these and blow down as well, but uh, they're typically not used there. But uh, uh, they are a slower opening valve. Okay, okay. All right, and now the globe. The globe valve versus the gate, you'll notice the globes look a lot like the gate valves. I mean, when you put them mm -hmm. side by side, they look, they look alike, but the inside of them are a lot different. Um, these globe valves are mainly for flow control. Okay. They actually have a disc in them that raises up and down uh, against a, uh, most of them are a uh, set seat. Okay. And it, it, it's basically like a throttling valve. All right. um, you can control the, the amount that comes out on the outlet side of the valve. So while they look alike, they are very different in the way they treat 
what's going through them. These, these isolate, you, you know, you don't want anything coming out on the other side, you crank them down. These, like this valve right here, it actually has a dial indicator on it okay. to let you know, hey, I want to set this at two, I get this much flow out of it. You know, that's, that's the purpose of these valves. Okay. Speaking of valves, you're probably hearing the big noise in the background. That's actually our valve shop. They're testing valves right now. So uh, if you hear that. So uh, check valves, let's move on to that. Yeah, we got different types of check valves here. Um, what we've got pictured here are a couple United brass valves and a Durabla check valve. Mm. And uh, a couple of these look different, of course. Uh, you got a swing check valve, which uh, has a flap in it to prevent backflow from going through it. Mm. Check valves basically make sure that flow goes through the valve one way and can't reverse and come back the other way. Mm. So there's different applications and different different types of valve. A swing a swing check is a very economical type valve for this. Um, they have to be mounted a certain way uh, because this thing is gravity fed and it swings on the inside. Um, you got a check valve here that's actually, this is a spring check. It's actually got a spring against the seat okay. that holds it. So you can actually mount these in different directions. Okay. But as far as the rating and the pressure and what they're used for, these are actually rated for steam and water the same way. Okay. Um, and then we've got a third valve here, the Durabla check valve. This is what they call an inline check valve. Mm -hmm. It's actually got a spring against the flow direction this way. So as flow goes through it, it's not allowed, the, the spring holds it from coming back through the other way. So this is another <clears throat> one of those that you can mount in different directions. Now, why would you want to prevent um, something coming back the other way using a check valve? Well, let's, let's just talk about a couple of applications like feed water, for example. You know, you want, you want the water going in the boiler and once that pressure, you know, is, is coming from the pump is shut off, you don't want the, the water draining back out of the boiler. Mm. So that check valve is, one of those things that helps keep, you know, the, the water where it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, or steam, for example, you know, you've got steam going out into your process. Yep. You know, as your, as your pressures change in your system, you don't want the flow to reverse and go to where it's not supposed to be. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a one-way ticket, you go through it, you're on the other side, that's where you need to be. Okay, good. I know uh, Jude did a uh, weekly boiler tip recently on the check valve and how you kind of check that and see if they're working, so you maybe want to check that out. Brian, we appreciate it as always. Make sure you get out and check out BoilerWarehouse.com. Talk to all the guys. You know he's got, uh, they've got tons of knowledge. Um, and just get with, it, with them. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Brian hanging out with us. Talk a little bit about flow valves as well as isolation valves. Um, again, great knowledge. And just make sure you uh, check him out. Uh, new look on our trucks. Take, take a look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you don't mind, share a video for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.